center of the universe and the Thrive15.com World Headquarters. Let's go! Presenting the world's only business school without the BS with optometrist and entrepreneur Dr. Robert Zellner and the Forest Small Business Administration Entrepreneur of the Year in your ear, Clay Clark. It's the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. Three, two, one. Boom, 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 Thrivers. Guess who's in your room and in your ear? My name is Clay Clark. I'm the former SVA Entrepreneur of the Year, and I am in your ear and here today to teach you how to start and grow a successful business. Now, today we are talking about a subject that I could not be more excited about. It's actually our third topic we're going to be teaching at our upcoming Thrive 15, our Thrive 15 two-day in person workshops. Okay, this is topic number three. We're going to be deep diving into this at the workshops, but I'm just telling you, Thrivers, this topic is a game changer. And if you're listening right now and you don't have a pen or a piece of paper or an iPad or an Etch Sketch, you need to take the time to write this down. Okay, this is the topic. Learn how to create a profitable and quickly scalable business. Again, learn how to create a profitable and quickly scalable business. Now, why why would you want to learn how to build a scalable business. Well, to talk about this, I wanted to bring on two ladies who've known me since, uh, you know, I was uh, since, since college at Oral Roberts University, okay? They, they hold me accountable. I, I can't make up things when they're on the show. So I have my, my very good friend. She's one of the office managers up here. She's a great lady. She's on the executive team up here at Thrive15.com. It is Miss Sharita Bent. Miss Sharita, how are you doing? Hey, hey, I'm great. I'm glad to be here. And we have my incredible wife of 15 years, mother of five kids, the incredible Mrs. Vanessa Clark. How are you? Doing great. Glad to be here and uh, great, to, great Christmas time. So still in the holiday spirit. Whenever I say your first and last name, I kind of feel like you're in trouble. <laughs> because you never Clark. say that. Yeah. We have Vanessa Lynn Clark. What am I in trouble? Yeah. Okay. So what we're talking today about how to build a scalable business. And so Vanessa, you, you saw this when I started DJ Connection, True. which is now called djconnection.com. I would go out there and I would DJ with a meatloaf level of passion yes yes <laughs> now do you guys remember now george michael just passed away and that's oh, a sad deal it is but george michael he had a voice that was smooth it was mm-hmm. kind of a silky yes like his voice was perfect like butter it was like butter mm-hmm. but then you had meatloaf and meatloaf <laughs> really had no talent but he could just he had passion. He, bring passion. passion exactly so he, exactly i would do anything <laughs> for love breaking down but i won't do that and he's like crying oh no no and he just he would just get into it. anything for love everybody's singing now anything so, for love you, you love him you and love I that passion do, yes i would I dj i wondered what he wouldn't do though like what was the I thing know, what that was, he wouldn't do well, we can't talk about that okay <laughs> no but here's the thing is so he would bring this passion and he would just fill up arenas and people would never, people would secretly be going, he doesn't have any talent. <laughs> but the thing was, he was just so passionate. And that's how I would DJ. Over time, I discovered I'd go out there and DJ a wedding and someone would call and go, hey, we saw this DJ last Saturday night. And I don't know what that was, but it was awesome. Can we have him DJ at my party? So I go, sure. Epic. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Next one. Vanessa and I are seeing people at Office Depot who are randomly high fiving me, going, <laughs> yeah. "Awesome, bro! That was awesome." And let me say, you loved it. You lived for that. You would you would remember the couple's name, yes. the date. I mean, it was imprinted on your mind as much as it was on theirs. You you loved it. Yeah. Now, Thrivers, if you're listening right now, and you know Chris, if you if you know if you know these people, if you if you know the uh, it'd be Forrest Forrest. Forrest, uh, your wife used to work over there at Oklahoma National Bank. If that's you, uh, at their 71st and Lewis, I believe, First mm-hmm. National Bank. Forrest and, and uh, Christy, I believe. It's Christy and Flor- Forrest. Aaron Reed. If you know Aaron Reed, if you're listening <laughs> to the program and you know Aaron Reed, send her a text. Go, hey, they're talking about you on the radio. Talking about your wedding. Yeah, we're talking about your wedding. But I used to teach at these weddings, and I would just get into it. Well, the problem is it wasn't scalable. Yeah. So pretty soon people would go, well, hey, could we book you? And I go, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, over, over time, I've been married now 15 years, but my wife looks up and goes, are you booked for every single Saturday this year? And I'm like, and Fridays, yeah. and w- anytime people would want to have an event, he was the best. Yeah, and well, there's and no he ran the company too, so it was like the weekend, the whole yeah. weekend. Well, right? and part of the thing is, he really he loved it, which is why yes. he was so good. He did you our know, wedding. We, we wanted him. Oh, your <laughs> wedding was the jam. We Look. wanted him. We At wanted the Scott him. is right. Yes, yes. Now yes. let me tell you about your wedding. Let me tell you about your wedding. What your wedding did to me? Yes. Your wedding specifically. What did it do? One of my very good friends since I. I knew the man since I was probably four years old. Yeah. I had to not do his wedding. Oh, no. To do your wedding. <laughs> I didn't know this. Your wedding was in October. You 
over there at the Scottish Rite. Yes. And well, we this got is, married at Higher D, and then we had a reception at the Scottish Rite. And do you know how I made that decision? How? I talked to my very, very good friend, one of my mentors in my life at the time. I talked to him, and I said, yeah. hey, I, I'm in a moral dilemma because yes. one of my very good friends I went to college with is getting married on the same day. Yeah. I haven't committed to him yet. She sure. called first. And I, so the, my, my friend calls me and says, hey, could you do my wedding? And I said, I cannot do your wedding because I'm already booked. Mm. And my friend says, I cannot believe. <laughs> I seriously, I thought we were friends. So I talked to my buddy and he goes, yeah. happy wife, happy life. Who yes. would, who would, who, who would your wife prefer for you to DJ for? And yeah. I go, well, Sharita is one of her very good yes. friends. Oh, Sharita. Friends. Boom. Like, high that's five, that's how it happened. That's right. right. We get it. We get they it. played some reggaeton. They had some, this, 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 this Jamaican music yeah. and they had a lot of Sean Paul was played. It was great. I think at the end you were glad you were at her wedding too. It you, fun. that wedding, he loved that wedding. It was, it was epic. Fun. And the thing was though, was my, the point is my business wasn't scalable. Sure. And mm -hmm. so many of you are listening right now and you've read these books about Turn your passion into profits. What you want to do is you want to turn your passion into profits. So if you're passionate about baking cakes, start a cake company. Yeah. If you're passionate about getting in crazy in debt, get a mortgage company going. <laughs> if you're passionate about teeth, you start a dental. But, but eventually you go. They become slaves to their own companies, right? Slaves. Like slaving away, slave labor, sweating. And yeah. you were picking up weddings to just to beat the competition. Let me say you had things where you said you would purposely not make a profit if they would say yes to you and no to the competition and yeah. but you got the booking now that sounds a little bit aggressive <laughs> what, wait what wait, wait and my favorite thing is when he would say he will be djing for till he's life. 80 do you remember this? yes, yes. <laughs> so what happens is we have a we have a child now yes and we have a child in Havana. Is a great kid. We're so excited about Havana. She She's 12 year old. She's just a little, little genius. Havana, if you're listening right now, you, I think <laughs> you're a genius. This kid knows a lot of things. She reads people. She reads books about people of historical significance, and I give I pay her to write book reports. So the girl's just 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 reading through books like she's going through Pez on a Pez dispenser. <laughs> yeah. And so the thing is though, is that um, Vanessa says, well, hey, could you be at her, let's say, dance, or could you be at her birthday party, or could you be at her? <laughs> Just anything. Some life event. Yeah. No, at church. Could you be at the thing? Could you pick her up? And I'm going, nope, nope. No, I want to, but I'm DJing. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got a big event I'm DJing. Uh, I can't do that one. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. And it gets to a point where I'm like, baby, I'm at Applebee's doing karaoke on Wednesday. <laughs> now, i got to be real. I'm doing that Applebee's karaoke, and there's like 17 people. I've committed. I'm not kidding. I did that. And then I go, and I'm at the Holiday Inn Select DJing for these impersonators. And there's a guy who thinks that he is Tom Jones. I remember and this. I have to be at that. Yeah, I remember this. And, you, you know, on, on New Year's Eve, there's a party I got to do. Yes. And then on Christmas Eve, there's a guy who wants to get married on Christmas Eve at Five Oaks. <laughs> so I have to be at that. And, you know, on Thanksgiving, there's a man who wants to get married. So I got to drive back on Thanksgiving oh, from Houston oh, yes. in my car by yes. myself. You need to fly home separately with Havana because yes. I have to DJ, you know, you know, on Thanksgiving for somebody. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, there's something that I've heard you say before. Usually there's not a breakthrough until you re reach that point of a breakdown. Oh. And, you know, I, in my, my own spiritualness, can attribute it to Jesus and my prayers pleading for <laughs> life change. But but eventually this thing that you love. Yes, yes. yes there there are the angels hearing my prayers. Preach. Jesus sending out the message saying, go do it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but. I just knew, wait, this can't, he can't do this till he's 80. This won't work for our, our, our lives. But something happened where something that you loved so much, it became, it grew to a point there. It was not scalable. Um, you hadn't scaled it yet. Eventually you did. You had this epiphany, but you realized you were so worn down. You never had time for you or for the things that you wanted to do. And you probably would have loved well, to go do, you know, a wedding once a month. But it was to the point where you were doing three a week and I'm, it was insane. Okay. And that's when the breakdown happened. And that's when the breakthrough happened. And you learned to delegate. So what happened is, Thrivers, is that we found out our, our first son, um, our only son, uh, he was born. And he's a, he's a beautiful man, by the way. He's a beautiful guy. Obs and if him. you go on to thrivetimeshow.com, you can see... Uh, the gift, his mother and I, Vanessa and I, we, we got him a 40-inch riding, a 48-inch, I'm sorry, Aubrey, I know I got that wrong, a 48-inch <laughs> riding Husqvarna for Christmas this year. He's yes. so excited about this little nine-year-old mind exploded when yes, he received yes. this gift. But the thing was, Aubrey was born blind, mm -hmm. and we didn't know that he was born blind. And what happened was, is it was Dr. Groves wanted me to come to the appointment to meet you so that he mm -hmm. could tell, because he says, you need to have your husband here for me to tell you what I need. Well, because I, I, he was going to obviously tell us he was blind, but I didn't know that. I didn't know he was even blind. So, he, yeah, he asked for my husband to come, and I told him, I said, oh, no, 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 my husband can't come. He's working. He's working. He's working. Like, that, like, like this is insane. It, yeah, you right. can't ask for my husband. Like, I do that. And I just remember at that moment I knew it was the seriousness of the situation because he looked at me, and I almost felt like a little girl. He got really stern. He said, 
No, you need to call your husband right now. And he needs to be here. So if you're listening right now, and you, you, there's there's two categories you're in right now, okay? There's a guy on the left side. It was probably a lady. Probably, there's probably no intelligent men listening. It's probably just all <laughs> ladies. I mean, ladies, you, you ladies, if you're listening right now, you you know, ladies, you ladies have all the intelligence. You hoard it all for yourselves. But here's the deal: you're listening right now, and I'm gonna give you a statistic, and you tell me if this is you, okay? This is this is the ladies over here. They, they're, they're people who want to start a business. Tell me if this is you. They make products that no one wants. According to Forbes, this is a careful survey of failed startups determined that 42% of the failed startups said they made a product that no one wants. That's, wow. a, that's, uh, that's, that's some ladies. They're very, very mm. smart ladies. They built a product, but no one wants it. Yeah. Now, on the other side, check it out. You're somebody who's making a product that everybody wants. Some of you ladies out there. Some of you. How about Rustic Cuff? Yeah. I got one on right now. Oh, look at her. Look at her. I've got one on so right Jill now. So Jill Donovan, one Hi, of our Thrive15.com uh, mentors, a great Tulsa lady. You've made something people want. Yes. What about Cat Barbie from Barbie Cookies? Ooh. The cinnamon roll You cookies. both want the cinnamon yes. rolls. <laughs> give, me, give me all the <laughs> mint ones. <laughs> you got to go to barbiecookies.com. Yeah. You like the mint ones? She loves yeah, that the chocolate one. mint. I do not care about the cinnamon roll. Oh. And I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I, I know. know. It just does nothing for me. Did but you the hurt your tongue as a child? It is so good. Okay. So here's the thing is, so Barbie Cookies, though, she has a product that everybody wants it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Rustic Cuff has a product that everybody wants it. Yes. I built my DJ business. Everybody wanted it. True. So that's the other, ha- the other half of you are going, I just want, I really want to make something that people actually want to buy. That's, ha- that's half of you. Yeah. The other half are going, people want it so much, I don't have any time freedom. Yeah. So let me ask you this question, Thrivers. I want you to ask yourself this question because I want you to look it up and during the break. I want you to look it up to do your research. How is it possible that today, uh, Dr. Z and I, uh, it was, we'll start with Dr. Z. How is it possible that his business, Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, today on, today on a Friday, how is it possible that nearly 1,000 cars will be sold and he will not be there? Mm. I mean, the he's key. not going to yeah. sell the car, make the car, fix the car, tweak the car, auction the car. How is it possible? How is it possible that this weekend there will be thousands of, of weddings that are happening all over the world most of which are being done by Steve's Photography because I name my company Steve's Photography because I am Steve. And he's personally doing all the photos. It's yeah. Carol's Photography and my name is Carol and you're guaranteed to get me because I'm Carol. Yeah. How is it possible that Epic Photography is doing thousands of weddings a year and I don't even know what cameras we own or how sure. to take photos? And let me say, that it all happened, that evolution happened because once he had that breakthrough Mm -hmm. everything in your changing or everything in your thinking changed Mm -hmm. and you I know for the next company you said I am going to build this company not around myself I'm going to build it and I won't even know how to take photos but I'm going to piece all these places together and it was to date, at that time, our most successful company because of that breakthrough that you had, which you helped so many other people. And realize. I like to get into niches where um, I, I now I like to get into industries where I don't even like the business. Yeah. <laughs> Those like are the best ones. Like a so, game. <laughs> no, I'm being real. Like you talk about a guy who has no yeah. style or class. That's me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yet we have the most stylish and classy men's grooming lounge in Tulsa that my brother-in-law, it's his vision. Well, I'm a man bear pig. People meet me and they go... Is that what your hair will look like (laughs) after going there? No, no, no. Listen, I'm mystery shopping. I'm going out to all the competitors. I'm going into sports clips and top cuts and whatever. I think you're giving yourself away. I've only had one person call me out on it so far. (laughs) I'm changing my wardrobe. I'm going from suit and tie to my new hoodie uh, apparel here. I've got my new embroidered Thrive gear coming in. But the thing is, Thrivers, check it out. Is that if you have if you've built a business or you want to build a business that's going to create you time freedom or financial freedom, you want to listen because I'm telling you, if you build a business that makes a lot of money for you, but you, you don't have any time, what's the point? Time freedom, financial freedom. Stay tuned. Thrive Time Show. This show is brought to you by Adobe Creative Cloud. If you're a photographer, graphic designer, video editor, podcaster, business owner, or just creative genius, this is for you. All of your creative tools all in one place. Creative Cloud includes the entire collection of creative apps for desktop, from favorites like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, to new tools like Adobe Experience Design. Check this out, you can create podcasts seamlessly in high quality with Adobe Audition. Did you miss the exposure or looking to create a stunning and beautiful photo? You gotta download Lightroom. 
okay? The latest release of Adobe Creative Cloud is here with incredible new features in Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and all of your favorite apps, plus millions of Adobe stock assets and new premium images are built right in. So you can turn your brightest ideas into your best work fast. Make sure that you check out Adobe Creative Cloud. It's at adobe.com. Once again, Adobe Creative Cloud at adobe.com. Live, local, now. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back to your inspiration station and inside the dojo of Mojo, which is nestled inside the box that rocks, which is nestled inside the Thrive15.com world headquarters, which is nestled in beautiful Oklahoma, which is nestled in America, which is nestled in who else cares? America, right? We're in America, the best place in the world. And I'm telling you what, during today's show, if you want to take advantage of the freedoms that America provides you and you want to build a, a, a successful company, that is going to give you both financial and time freedom, you want to listen up. Because if you miss out what we're teaching you today, um, it could be a deal where you go, oh, man, I, I missed the boat there. That was a big show. I, I should have listened to that show. And if you do have to get back to work, I get it. Maybe you're at Oklahoma Joe's right now, one of our proud sponsors. You're at Oklahoma Joe's having baked beans, and the guy behind you is going, dude, you're, dude, move move ahead now. We're in line here. You must, come on, dude, move, come on. You're, maybe you got to you know, get off the podcast right now for just a second. Maybe you got to get off that and then come back to it later. But if you want to come back to it later, go to thrivetimeshow.com. And this month, we're going to be talking about it a lot because it is probably the number one most exciting thing in my life in the world of business is we are now doing Thrive 15 in-person workshops. Real talk. So we've had people all around the world going, I want to learn specifically how you and Dr. Zellner have built an, an optometry clinic, an auto auction, a photography business, a hair, hair salon for men, a I mean, insert the niche, the um, durable medical company, a sleep center, sleep center, a PR firm, a marketing company, a videography company. A, how are you doing it? What is the deal? I mean, you, you, are you guys like experts of all these things? Are you like ninjas? Do you know all these skills? I want to learn. So we're going to teach you. It's a two day. Here's the deal. It's a two day, 15 hour. Two days, 15 hours, seven and a half hours per day. Two-day workshop. It's January 20th and 21st here at the Thrive15.com World Headquarters in beautiful Jinx, America. And we don't have thousands of people. We don't, we don't sit there and pack it out. And you guys want to walk on hot calls? Do you want to walk on hot calls and do a trust fall? Are you guys motivated? No, we teach you how to build a workflow, how to build scalable systems, marketing, PR, branding, accounting. We get into all the stuff behind the stuff, the stuff no one wants to talk about, the stuff that you need to know after you're motivated. And off the air, uh, Sharita, Sharita Bent, she's, she's asking me, she says, uh, Clay, I got a few questions for you. We just covered a lot of ground there because in today's topic, we're teaching you how to create a profitable and scalable business, a profitable and quickly scalable business, meaning building a business that can work without you to create time and financial freedom. And Sharita, you had a question, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the mic over to you. Sure. I was just saying, you know, people who build businesses and yep. they get to the point where if it's Carol's photography and it's super dependent on Carol, yep. you know, is this a problem? Did it they is do a problem. something wrong? Um, is it good that they're making so many sales? Mm. And then I also wanted to ask you the second part is when you started your first business, DJ Connection, I know you were in high demand because you were such a great DJ, yeah. but then as you started your next companies on down to so many that you have now did you start with a different mindset where you begin right. scaling you there's, know? there's three there's three th ideas there yeah. um one is you have to begin with the end in mind mm. so in marriage i don't do as good of a job in this as i should oh, but my wife great. my wife does a vision now recently i've been running around the house i did it i said it t twice out loud to you this morning i know i did because <laughs> i'm saying it all the, i have to say it because i have found thrivers check it out what you think about, you bring about. All true, right. true, true. All so right. I, I, I keep saying, what would That's Chip good. do? <laughs> so I'm watching this Chip and Joanna show. Because you're reading know. the book. I no, love but it, It's the I Fixer do. Uppers, and Chip is so kind to his wife, and Vanessa is very similar to Joanna's personality, based on what I can. After reading the book and, and kind of going to page seven of Google, because I don't <laughs> trust anyone, I've discovered that she seems to be a consistently nice person, and I'm going, okay, this guy openly shows his wife that he loves her, mm -hmm. and I love my wife too, but I'm just being honest, he expresses it better than than i do and so i'm trying to like ask myself what would chip do so today before leaving the house i'm like i love you and then it's like you know was it six in the morning 
Yeah, yeah, it was like yeah. five thirty in the morning. Five thirty, yeah. And then yeah. she goes, "What? Like, I love you." And she's like, "I love you." And I'm like, "I love you." And I'm just going, "What would Chip do?" And I get my car. I go, "That's what Chip would have done." Love it. Love <laughs> so the it. thing is, so the good. one you have to begin with the end in mind. Yeah. So the end in mind when I built uh, Elephant in the Room or Epic Photography or Thrive15.com is for me to offer the most amount of value. Check it out, in the least amount of time. Mm. The most amount of value in the least amount of time. The yeah. goal is again is to serve many as many as many people as possible. In the least amount of time as possible. So with Epic Photography, I would be involved in about an hour a week when I uh, once the business got going. And I can attest to this. He was very conscious of, of that when you're making everything, all the systems, and it took a very minimal amount of your time. So this point number two is you have to ask yourself, is this scalable? Okay. So here's an example. Um, Sam, one of our producers here, I, I walked up to him probably about four months ago, three months ago, and I said, Sam, I want you to start producing the show very soon full time. And I'm sure you're kind of like, what are you thinking? What was going on? Well, Sam, if you mean, if you know Sam Parker, uh, well, Sam Parker commercial, he's yeah. diligent. Yep. He's kind. Mm -hmm. He kind of looks like a Viking. If he you're does. on Facebook <laughs> Live, <laughs> can does. you hop in just real quick he here, does. Sam, on Facebook Live? If you're on Facebook Live, there he is. Look at, oh, hey, say hi, Mom. But he's there he a is. friendly my, Viking. Yeah, he's he a is. Friendly. He is. But the thing about Sam is he's, he's kind. He's Karina's Viking. He yes. is Karina's yes. Viking. He's, yes. he's a hardworking, <laughs> great guy. Honestly, he's a great guy. Yeah. And the thing was, I, I knew that I saw in him a guy who's diligent and will execute systems. Mm -hmm. and I don't want to have systems dependent upon divas who are not diligent. Sure. And so I needed to work in that direction. So step number one, again, I begin with the end in mind. Step two, I want to ask myself, is it scalable? And I knew finding diligent, hardworking people is scalable. Yeah. I repeat, there are a lot of great people out there in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who are hardworking, who are looking for a job where their boss respects them mm -hmm. and treats them kindly. And there's also there's also a lot of morons, by the way, but <laughs> not on this show. They're on the other station. But there's, there's a lot of morons out there. They're listening to the other station. They're not listening to this station. They're getting into they're jamming out. They're yeah. jamming out. But the thing is, is that we 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 know there's that, that's a scalable thing. So I wanted to build the systems in a way. And so right now we're in the process of digitizing every aspect of this show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that somebody who is a complete moron could run it. Sure. So that way, somebody who's diligent doesn't need to be a genius. Right. Yeah. Because right. if you're going out there looking for a guy and you say. Uh, Pre-qualification pre, pre number one, you have to work eight <laughs> years as an audio wizard. That's what you step number one. You got to be eight years. So on the resume, they're like, uh, there's nobody who meets those cr that criteria. Sure, sure. And then the third, the third is you have to be okay with all of the people who are not okay with you self-actualizing. Mm, Does Maslow, that make sense? Maslow's hierarchy there. I'm tracking with you. So here's kind yeah. of an example. Um, recently, um, in the office, I've started p uh, painting uh, verses and uh, positive words of affirmation Quotes. around the building. Mm -hmm. So one of them would be um, Matthew, I think it's 521, and it explains, I hope I'm getting that right, is it Matthew 521 over there? I think it's Matthew 521. But over there, it basically the concept of it was a pastor said it during a church service. But he said, basically, I'm paraphrasing, but blessed are the persecuted. Mm. Yes. Because they will inherit uh, the riches in heaven, basically. Yeah. The idea is that if you're standing up for something, you're going to be persecuted. Yeah. And I, I like that. So mm -hmm. I put that on the wall. Yeah, Proverbs 10, 4 up too. Yeah, which right. is which is God blesses the hand of the diligent and punishes the slackered. And so I have this vision for what the business is going to be. But when I put those verses on the wall, my kids do the, the Vanessa, our kids come up here and they do all the, the work in the office. They do. They come here twice a week, uh, at least, and they do all the cleaning of the all entire the cleaning. office, which is a, a big job for young kids, especially when you look at, they get invited to a friend's, they may have to say no, or my mom can take me over after I finish my cleaning. They're diligent to do that. So real talk, we had a conversation with a young lady about, I had one about 10 days ago. No one knows this. But she <laughs> says, can I bring my kid? And I said, no, no, you can't. She says, why? She said, you bring your kids. I said, uh, one, I'm the boss. <laughs> Two, I can yell at my kids. Yeah. Can't yell at your kids. Yeah. Three, you know, I can ground my kids, can't ground your kids. Sure. No, 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 no. And the thing is, when you build a business, so for the photography business, people would used to meet going, is there any way we can meet? I think we should talk. I have some ideas. No. <laughs> but why? Because uh, I don't want to think about the business at all. In fact, I want to go home and chase my wife around. I'm so thankful for those no's that you say. So, Thrivers, when we come back, we're going to talk to you more about how to build a scalable and repeatable business system. Thrive Time Show. Are you a business owner? You need to ask yourself right now, how are you backing up your files and important documents? Most businesses have no system for the files in their business. If this is you, you got to use Dropbox. At least sign up for one of their 30 day free trials. Real talk. It's the secure file sharing and storage solution that employees and IT administrators trust. 
You get as much space as needed at no additional cost. You get unlimited file recovery and versioning, basically creating new versions, and valuable admin controls for secure sharing and collaboration with Dropbox for Business. You gotta check this out. After using Dropbox, you'll definitely feel more secure knowing that a virus or power surge can't ruin your computer and your entire business. Try full access to Dropbox Business for 30 days. Head over to Dropbox.com to get started. Again, Dropbox.com to get started. Listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back to your inspiration station. You're listening to Tulsa's only local business radio show. Don't change that dial. Stick around for a while. It's 1170 AM on that radio, and it is the Thrive Time Show, Fo Show. And today in the Dojo of Mojo, we are teaching you how to start or grow a successful business. And specifically, we're talking to you about how to quickly build a scalable business model. And I'm just telling you this, it is so hard. It is so hard to start a successful company for many people. It's so hard. And once you finally find a way to make profits, it's so hard to build a business that creates time freedom for you. And so, so many people feel like that they're, they're, that they're mutually exclusive ideas. Oh, if I want to have a successful business, I must work 80 hours a week for the rest of my life. Uh, you know, no, you can actually build a successful business and work very few hours during your week. But don't you love your business? I, re- I heard if you, if you don't love your business, then you would be, if you loved your business, you would be there more. You know, you're, you spend time with the things you love. Do you hate your business? I mean, these are things people ask. And so, we're going to teach you how to do both, how to build a time freedom and financial freedom. It's a thing. I, I, and today I'm joined with some great, great people who are subbing in for Dr. Robert Zellner, who's out expanding his vast entrepreneurial empire. We have Mrs. Sharita Bent, one of our uh, mem- one of the members of our Thrive 15 executive team, and my incredible wife of 15 years, Mrs. Vanessa Clark. So, Sharita, let's get into this topic here a little yeah. bit. Let's get. Why should people listen? Why, why should people care about how to build a scalable? business system sure the thing with building a scalable system like you said it's going to give you that time and financial freedom that all people want you know you don't build a business because you want to give away all of your time and so our training is going to give you all those processes all those systems that you need and we can help you generate a positive cash flow oh. for you and your business you can so positive cash flow yeah. now vanessa you've seen people we've coached over the years you've seen them before and after you've seen people that their business wasn't profitable and they've just given up hope yeah they're just like yes. well you know just whatever i'm just gonna live in a van down by the river and their goal is just <laughs> if i can just make one more deal i can make it this month yeah. oh, i could just my goal and your you start your kids start to go dad what are you doing i'm trying to make it this month i yeah. thought my number one goal is to survive you know it just gets a little bit it becomes your new normal and behind the scenes i usually see they are the ones doing everything for their business everything (laughs) it's a little bit heartbreaking because they are usually paying themselves the least yeah Mm. and they are slaves to the business and hostage to the employees many Mm. times Um, and they have a great product the thing is they have a great product they have tons of people they're buying it but they don't have systems set up in a way that give them freedom instead everything is built around them sustainable exactly Mm -hmm. and the thing is it's hard to can it's hard to achieve something that you haven't conceived you haven't seen in your you haven't seen it before yeah it's hard to understand what that's like sure so here's my challenge for the thrivers right now there's a challenge two, two, two challenges for you challenge number one get in your car and go to Oklahoma Joe's, and, and he's going to hear this and go, this was the, the worst thing you've ever told people to do. But get in your car, go to Oklahoma Joe's. I'm not trying to sell you something, but just sit there in one of the booths. They're going to go, can I help you? And you're like, no, I'm just here to witness greatness. Yeah. And just sit there and marinate on the profundity of the idea that there is a person just like you, the listener today. If you're listening right now, he's just like you. He's a great guy. He's a hard worker. He's a great Oklahoma. He sold 2 million smokers. Yeah, My awesome. man has sold 2 million smokers. My man is greeting thousands of customers a day, and my man will not be there making his legendary burnt ends or his legendary baked beans. The business works without him. Yeah. How is that possible? Then get in your car and go over to Elephant in the Room at 91st and yell, this is step two. <laughs> go there. It's a f- day of field trip. And yeah. walk in and say, I'm here for my $1 haircut. And the lady will say, you want to do a $1 haircut? And you say, no, 
I'll just wait in the lobby. I just want to witness greatness. Yeah. <laughs> and just notice how I'm not going to come in there and cut your mop. Sure. If I did, you'd ask me to stop. <laughs> now, my brother-in-law is not going to be in there cutting your wig. And, it, and, if you, and if you did, you'd probably like it, and he'd like it too. But the thing is, we're trying to keep him away from that because he's, he's a hair genius. He's got this great experience. He is. Yeah. But if you do see him, say hello to his, beer, say hello to his beard for me. <laughs> it's he's epic. got an epic, epic beard. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing is, these are businesses that are working. Yeah. Without the owner's direct involvement. And maybe we'll bonus move three. Go over to Woodland Hills Mall. You know you're returning everything right now. <laughs> Come on. You know your husband bought you something. And you're like, do you have the gift receipt? And he's like, baby, why? I mean, do you like the blender I bought you? Yeah, I just want to know if you want to have a gift receipt. I just like options. You know, and then you're just high to <laughs> going to the mall, trying to return stuff. You're all frustrated because some woman's in line in front of you. But the thing is, you're in line in front of somebody else. And so you're like, well, frick, I'm just going to take them up on the challenge number three. So you run over there to Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. Mm -hmm. And you're going to notice he's going to see thousands of patients today. Yeah. The sign says Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. But yet he is not there and the associates are. How is it possible? So then you go, you have two options. Was he lucky? Was he, was, was he, ask yourself, was, was he lucky? That's an option. You could say, I guess he's just lucky. That's what most people think, though. They think it's all luck. Yeah, they do. They really it's just do. luck. Yeah. It is, he's a lucky guy. He's just born with the right genes. Yeah, they think your family helped you along the way or whatever. No, he brought a silver spoon. No, no. My main man grew up poor and he did it. Mm. My brother in law started with nothing and he did it. You are listening right now. I don't know where you are, but you qualify to be success. I don't care about where you've come from, I care about where you're going. Okay, so here's the deal. Now, you've got to determine right now today, it's not about luck. It's about a proven system, which, Vanessa, that's why we want everybody who's listening right now. Yes. We want you to come out to a Thrive15.com in-person two-day workshop. Mark your calendar, January 20th and 21st, and check it out. If you have $7 in your pocket right now, put your hands up. No, I'm just kidding. If you have $7 <laughs> in your pocket right now, you can afford to attend <laughs> The workshop. We have a scholarship program made possible from, from some very generous sponsors. And so even if you cannot afford the cost, just tell us, hey, I need a little hand up and we're going to help you. Vanessa. You know, I, I just think that this is so, the conference in itself is so wonderful. But I think what is amazing about it is that now is the perfect time. You're hearing this on the radio. And first off, any action that you have to take in your life now is always the best time to do it because why, why put it off? But think about this. We're just now rolling into the new year. Mm, new year, baby. I hope you've sat down with your husband or wife, with your your spouse, and you've made those that goal sheet, the goals that you want to reach. Um, we do it every year. Uh -huh, every year. In your businesses or your dreams. What better time is there to attend this first conference and find out those first steps that you need to take to build the processes and the duplicatable systems that are going to make your dream a reality? So I'm really excited about it um, just because – now is the time. Now is the time. We are here. We are at your resolutions. It's time to act. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Thrivers, this is your opportunity. And, and don't let the finances get in the way because literally, if you have $7, we'll help you out, okay? And the thing is, um, we, I mean this to you, there's no upsells. There's nothing where it's upselling. You don't get there and they're not in the back of the room going, now, if you want to get the multi-million dollar <laughs> super success system and a signature from uh, Michael Tyson, my many know him as Mike Tyson, and you want to meet potentially um, various celebrities and learn the keys to becoming a millionaire overnight, or very quickly, what I would call quickly, not overnight, <laughs> but like in a week or two, um, we have a system for you. Now, in the back of the room, we're only taking six candidates. We're not doing that. Right. Oh, but, but it's normally 22000 but today, because we have limited time special, we had what we would call an uh, uh, we, we had, well, the factory direct. We had a factory deal, and so now it's... It's only going to be 8,000. I mean, we don't do that. It's no smoke and mirrors. It's real specific business school without the BS. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm super, super, super excited about it and excited about the, the listeners. And you can go to www.thrivetimeshow.com, I believe, and there's yeah. a link. Just get started, and it will take you to register for the conference, and that will get the ball rolling right there. Are you saying I got to get on the Internet <laughs> in order to get to this website? That's it's crazy. It. I'm done with it. I do AM radio, and that's it. <laughs> I'm so frustrated they even put this on the radio. It was better when there just was a man outside yelling. That was my kind of radio. Back when I grew up, you would have a great radio shows would be a man, and he would be yelling, and you would just gather around the campfire. I was frustrated when they started using matches. A bunch of sellouts. I used to start fires with my bear hands. I would use the hands of a bear to start a fire. Thrivetimeshow.com. I will never go to that website. For the professional looking man out there, this is for you. Are you tired of waiting for hours in disorganized barbershops around town? 
Are you maybe looking for an upscale haircut experience instead of being treated like a little kid? If either of these thoughts crossed your mind, then Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge is for you. The Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge is proud to offer a variety of packages and memberships for discerning men and regular customers who wish to maintain their tailored look while receiving discounts off of services and products. They're going to bring you in, they'll offer you a beverage, identify your style that you're going for, get you a tailored haircut from one of the professional stylists, wash your hair, and then style it afterwards so you could even go back to work. The experience is awesome. They even do cool things for members like a free nape shave on Mondays or a peppermint oil scalp massage on Tuesday. Check out one of the locations near you and book an appointment. You can check them out at EITRlounge.com or just dial 918-877-2219. Seriously, you're going to love it. 918-877-2219 or visit EITRlounge.com to book an appointment today. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show. Talk Radio 1170. All right, Thrive Nation and Oklahomies, welcome back. Welcome back to the Thrive Time Show. And in fact, my name is Clay Clark. I'm the former SBA Entrepreneur of the Year in your ear, talking on this magical microphone, helping you start and grow a successful business. Typically, Dr. Robert Zellner is on the show, but he's out expanding his vast and ever-growing entrepreneurial empire. And so today, I had to do what was required. You know, when, when he's out expanding the empire, I always have to do what is required. And, and, and a lot of times, you have to step one, you got to find geniuses. So yeah, I'm like, that's, that's not too hard. I'll find some geniuses. And then step two, you got to find two. And I'm going, this is almost impossible. So I found them. We have Mrs. Sharita Bent, who's one, a, a leader of our, of our Thrive 15 executive team, a member of the executive team. What does that mean? She manages the people in the office getting stuff done. And we have my incredible wife of 15 years, Mrs. Vanessa Clark. And we're teaching you today how to quickly build a scalable business system, how to build a business that works for you instead of you working for the business. And you see, Jay-Z, he has the best quote out there. Jay-Z, what is this show? I thought this show was a business show. We're talking about Jay-Z. No, his champagne company, he's doing great. Uh, just Google him on Forbes. He's worth $600 million right now. He's doing just fine, okay? Wow. He's, he's his clothing company doing just fine. Title, his streaming music service doing just fine. Thank you very much, Mr. Negatory, Mr. Iden's never going to work, Mr. What does he know? Does he even know technology? He's doing just fine. But he has this quote I'm going to read to him. I'm kind of paraphrasing it, but I want to break it down like fractions before we get into the action. So it's, it's a song lyric, right? Yeah, he says in one of his songs, he says, I am not a businessman, comma, I am a business, pause, wait for it, man. So what he's saying is he's not a businessman hustling for the dollar. What he is is he's a, he's a business. He's built a business. He is a business. Okay? So many businesses he owns, but the businesses work for him. He doesn't work for the business. And that's something people get, get twisted. They get screwed up. They get mixed up. And so we're moving on to these seven steps you need to know if you're going to build a scalable business system. Okay? So step number one, you got to have a purpose of your business written down. You gotta have the purpose of your business. What is the purpose? That's huge. What is the purpose? Because on the surface, it makes you a little bit nervous when you think deep. Check it out. So here's the deal. We're gonna get below the epidermis here. So get into it, okay? It's, it's, by the way, Thrivers, I'm sorry that I ram all the time, but get a thermos. We're gonna talk deeper than the epidermis. We're getting into the marrow. I love Don't it. Don't be Secret narrow. Rapper. Don't I be love narrow. It. I love getting it. Getting into the marrow. Here we go. So here's the thing is, <laughs> this is the deal. I'm just telling you, you gotta gotta listen to this, okay? So what is the purpose? You gotta have your three P's. I want you to get a piece of paper, write down your three P's. Do it right now. You're, I don't have a pen. Frick, I got to pull over. Do it. Just do what you got to do. Give me some Tell me to give me some barbecue sauce. I'll just use that to write. Just, you know, write it down. The three Ps. One is you got to have, what kind of people do you want to work with? Mm. I'll tell you who I want to work with. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. I don't want to go off yet. What kind of people? <laughs> Second, you got to make a profit. A profit? Are we talking about, is it a biblical show? Is this what we're talking about? I'm making a profit like a like a like a bib, like a, like a biblical leader, like an authority of prayer, a prophet. Next time he'll be here in your robe. Yeah, that's right. Hello, my name is Clay Clock on the Thrive Time Show. I'm in my robe of many colors. I am what you would call a prophet. No, so your people, the prophet, and the third is a product that you're proud of. A product that you're proud of. Now, I don't want to make you feel bad if you're one of these get rich quick people. I want you to feel horrible. Really bad. I don't want you I to feel it. bad. Yeah. I want you to get, just understand this. <laughs> Wealth gained through folly, mm -hmm. according to Proverbs, causes poverty. Mm. So if you want to get rich quick selling something that doesn't work, like a jerk, 
you're going to end up very, very poor. This is going to have a rap song. I know it. I'm this just saying, that's gonna what's going to happen it. to you. You're going to end up in a bad, bad place because you're out there misguiding people. Yeah. That's not cool. Yeah, it's not. So the product you, you're going to sell has to be something people want. Sure. So I'm going to pick on a business that is, it has something that people want. It is Barbie cookies. Yes. Ooh. And these people roll. are coming in there, Shark. Shark, cinnamon what's your roll. favorite cookie? Cinnamon roll cook. I don't want anything. I am but against the you two roll. on the cinnamon roll. You both <laughs> love the cinnamon roll. I don't know. I'm because I'm, so I'm on this whole good. tangent right now. You know, what would Celery. Chip do from Chip and Joanna, he the fixer eat upper? The cinnamon roll cookie. <laughs> would he tell his wife that she's wrong? Would no. he ever go on a radio no. show and say, You're wrong? No, he wouldn't. Okay, listen, so you're right. Listen, you're the right, Andy's yeah. mint is the way to go. There's no other. I don't even want to talk about it. But you go to Barbie cookies, you go in there. They got ice cream cookies, yes. all these different kinds of gourmet cookies, just like Mama used to make. Mm-hmm. By the way, if it's your first time going in, the first cookie's free. Oh, you I have mean, to you, go. Why would you not do this? Go today. So here's the deal. He, she has a product that she's proud of, and because it's so good, people tell each other. Yeah. True. Uh-huh. You see what that is? It's word of mouth. Now, I, I had a client years ago who, uh, if you're listening right now and you are that client, I want you to get off my show, but I want you to listen to it maybe <laughs> and then get off the show. show. I'm being serious. Here's the deal. You're driving around in your truck, you're quoting people because you're a remodeler, and what you're doing is you're quoting people to remodel their house, and they pay you, and you take that money, Uh, and you don't do that house. Not right. And all the clients sue you, Mm. and then you reach out to people, and you go, I don't know why I have bad reviews on every website. Mm. People just, my competitors are doing bad things. No, no, that's called reputation. Now, every once in a while, yeah, competitors say crazy things. Yeah, ex-employees say things. But, buddy, your reputation follows you around. So I'm, I, I don't want you. Uh, I don't want you to have like a. Uh, I don't wish you hell, but I wish you kind of purgatory. But the thing is, <laughs> is the thing is, you have got to go out there and start doing what you're saying because you're messing up people's lives. When you take their money to put in their wood floor and you don't do it, that's not cool, Shark. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. So, Shark, have you ever met somebody that maybe you went to college with or since college or sometime you met them in, in your in your life being a, an Oklahoma here who's sold something that you knew wasn't real? Yes. And they knew it wasn't real. What, d- yeah. d- don't, maybe we don't want to get name names, sure. but kind of what, 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 what does that look like typically? Well, it's the worst. And, and you're like a snake, right? With a forked tongue. Because you're like, no, you're, you're selling <gasps> Sorry, like you're cool tickets. It is. It, that's what you feel like. You feel like somebody snaked you and like took advantage yeah. of you. And it's the worst feeling ever. I think you feel hurt when you feel like someone was a friend. And yes. then you, it's like a light bulb goes off and you, you think. I they're guess unethical. they weren't even my friend. Yeah, like they just—they just sold me so it doesn't even work. Yes, unethical. Like not cool, honest. man. Mm-mm, it's the worst. Now here's the deal. Now the set. Now the, with the P's. Okay, the, the, the other P is people. Who do you want to work with? I'm gonna tell you this. If you like freedom, and I, I check it out. Is, is this a Republican Going show? Is this a, de- is a uh, check it out? Is this is this a Democrat thing? Do you not like? No, let's work at me. Freedom requires checking on the sweatshirt. Requires discipline. So. I do not befriend or even uh, – I can't fellowship with people that don't have discipline. I, wow. I just don't like it. I don't want you in my office. So if you come to my office and you're just like, I'm sorry I'm late again. I just I overslept. I don't care. Go figure that out. And this is what they do. I have a time management problem. Could you coach me through that? Yeah. Step one, get up early. <laughs> Step two, let's, it involves a taser. Let me go get my police-grade taser. You want to go ahead and learn how to, no, because you have to have a consequence for not being disciplined. So sure. people that want to just, I want everyone in my office to be happy. So let's do an example. <laughs> I have an Israeli flag in my office. You know where that came from? What happened was I put up an American flag in my office and I had somebody about a year and a half ago, it was about two years ago, who complained. And they're like, hey, do you really feel like America's great? I'm mean, like, come on, homie. People want to move here. People are sneaking in. Whether you want to build a wall or not, people are trying to get here. People aren't trying to get to China. I, I ran away and I ran to China. I always laugh when I watch the news about the American that defected to North Korea and he gets like arrested and thrown in prison. Quit going to North Korea. What are you doing over there, homie? They don't have anything good over there. Anyway, moving on. So the thing is, so the thing is, the people, this guy says, but America's not that great. I mean, I think a lot of countries have a lot to offer. And I'm going, I don't even know what we're talking about, but you need to get out of my office. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put up an Israeli flag before noon on Monday. And he's like, what? And I'm like, because that'll really drive you nuts. So I put that up. The thing is, though, you got to have people that you want to work with. Yeah, true. Bill Same Belichick, values. the coach of the Patriots, is notorious for cutting people. He doesn't enjoy being around. Now, Vanessa, you have certain values as mm-hmm. a, as a, a wife and as, as, as my wife. As a human. Uh, as a human. No, but, certain, no, but, as, no, but as my wife, you do. Yeah, yeah, true. And true. there are certain people that you don't want working in the office. Yeah, if no, I know don't name names. Char- oh, Go I old would, school. I would never. I would never. <laughs> I'm saying if I if you come to know someone's character, character is everything. Sure. So 
you know what? We don't have to agree on everything, right. but if you're good character wise, mm -hmm. we're good. Yeah. But there could be someone that once you question their character, it's just you can't. You're, well, what are you going to do with them in the business? No Can your employees trust them? Can no. you trust them to Remember hand, back to in the day, employees? Back in the day before the businesses did well and I wanted to be sort of every employee's life coach. Yes, yes. And we had a man yes. who blew up three DJ vans. Broke oh. the, the door to my, my car. Yeah. Oh and he, come, he, he left cake after wedding in my wife's seat. <laughs> He, he couldn't get in the car, so he used a speaker stand to try to wedge his way in. He broke the, uh, broke the windshield. We used Not to kidding. let them use our vehicles back in the day. Because if their car people, broke. Yeah, or they didn't have, their cars weren't large enough to fit all the equipment. So, hey, take our car. Sure. This is my wife. She goes, well, you need to fire them. Mm. And I'm like, but we could reform them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and, I, and I'm the nice one, right? No, 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 no. But, but I mean, it was just the writing was on the wall. This is sure. not going to work. Sure. So you got to know your three Ps. The people. You gotta make a profit. Don't feel bad about that. Gotta make a profit. You gotta make a product you're proud of. Now, point number two is you have to create a sustainable business model. Now, sustainable means that you could continue at that pace until the end of your days Forever. without like passing out due to exhaustion. <laughs> You're like, I could run this pace. I could run a four-minute mile. I'd do that all the time. I'd do that right now. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it. Well, pretty soon you just pass out. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So an example, you know, George Michael, may he rest in peace. Yes. Uh, he was not living a sustainable life. Mm. Homeboys doing drugs, having parties, you know, and they, as press release, I knew, I knew when I saw the, the, head, the headline that came on CNN, it says, he died peacefully in his home. No, he did not. He probably died while being chased by some clown and naked running the streets of <laughs> England while doing some heroin mixed with some cocaine and drinking some beer to kind of calm himself down. That's how George Michael probably went down. He probably was getting his hair bleached while doing cocaine and heroin and trying to... That's how... It's been real talk. You can't live in an unsustainable pace. So, Thrivers, if you're drinking too much Red Bull, we're going to teach you how to build a sustainable system when we come back. This show's episode is brought to you by Moz.com. If you have ever considered the World Wide Web as a viable strategy for your business, you got to check out this tool. Online marketing is complicated, but Moz Software makes it easy. Companies like 99designs, Otterbox, and Aaron's, they all use Moz because it works. Explore organic search keywords for your business, research Bing and Google search results for your targeted keywords, and link up Moz Local and Google My Business. Seriously, this tool is crazy powerful with the clarity it brings to online marketing for your business. Even if you're just curious, start a 30-day trial with Moz.com today. It's a game changer for your business. Moz.com, M-O-Z.com. Broadcasting from the center of the universe, featuring optometrist turned entrepreneur, Dr. Robert Zellner, and U.S. SBA Entrepreneur of the Year, Clay Clark. This is the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. Three, two, one, it's time to do it. If you've got business obstacles, we'll teach you how to run right through it. Oh, now Thrivers, listen here. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on your AM radio but many of you, you got to go to, you got to go back to work. I mean, at some point, you got to get back to your job. Maybe you just, you know, you got to take the phone call. You got things to do today. So you go to thrivetimeshow.com. Thousands of people do this every day. You go to thrivetimeshow.com. And there you can find an archived, archived, all of them, all of the radio shows, all the podcasts. We had one sick freak who I love very much down in Dallas. He calls me, he says, he, he says hey, I have just li finished listening to all of them. <laughs> I love and it. I go, Brodini. <laughs> We need to talk. And yeah. he says, I'm, 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 this is exactly what I said. I said, Brodini, how long have you done this? He goes, well, basically, I took that week off, and I've just been just bam, bam, bam. And I'm like, awesome. I don't know if that's healthy. But the thing is, we're there for you, all the topics, anything you ever need to know to start and grow a business. We talk about um, kind of as much as we can on a two-hour show. But then in our in-person workshops, that's where we enter you into that dojo of mojo where we literally talk about the stuff behind the stuff. As an example, if I'm going to teach you how to optimize a website, you're going to need to see the screen. You're going to need to interact with it. You're going to need to t touch a keyboard. You're going to need to ask a question. You're going to need to see a call script if we're going to build a call syst a sales system. You're going to need to see a checklist if we're going to teach you how to make one. We're going to need to role play. There's just things that need to be done that we cannot do on a radio show. I think that people, until they get here, they're not going to realize truly how hands-on and interactive the material that you are teaching people. It, it is 
business changing. You know, we had someone from Florida in just a couple of weeks ago, um, yep. the Florida salt scrub guy. Yeah. And he could not. And, and he has what, like a $5 million business, yes. but he couldn't get over. Wow. You practically gave me these tools. You sure. helped me make this list to get these sales. And no and one else said, is offering a program like this. He I felt, said that he's been to other ones where yeah. he paid and he got nothing. He paid a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. And what it was was a lot of hype, a lot of motivation, which is great. And that is, there is a time and place for that. But I'm saying we're offering practical tools. And I'm just excited about it because it's truly what you just said, pulling up the website sure learning the seo well you have to you ultimately ultimately have to get to a point where you say is it about luck is that what success is is it luck or is it a proven system if you want a proven system you have to go is it something deeper is it more specific is it more detailed because john wooden the best basketball coach of all time he says the difference is in the details and if you don't have someone to show you or take you alongside the hand sure uh, how are you going to learn this? Sure. How are you? Uh, I'm going to do some example. We're not. We're not. Do, we're not doing them right now. But I, I, we have a lot of people that ask. We have five kids. Yeah. So many people have asked us over the years, "How do you homeschool?" So now, if you're going to answer that, wouldn't you need to like show people your schedule, what your day is like, how that works? I mean, there's there's more than just. It's not a short answer that you could just give to that. That's right. Sure. Yeah. So you can say what curriculum do you use right. or Vanessa how do you yeah. but there's there's a you have to live it you have to that's why the workshops are so valuable and literally if you have seven dollars in your pocket right now put your hands up just kidding no but the <laughs> thing is seriously if you have seven dollars you can afford to go because we have we have scholarship funds available so don't let time be an issue don't let money be an issue just get out to it baby and it's a Friday and Saturday this one's a Friday Saturday so you you only got to miss one day off that work day only one day off that work week okay Thrivers now we're teaching you how to build a scalable business model and we just said the next the next move point number two is you have to create a sustainable business model now i have a notable quotable that i want to read to you from uh, our good friend uh, who started priceline you're like what who started priceline mr smarty could you tell me no look it up why because i want you to engage but it's from the book scale this is what he says your business is sustainable but only if you're present to work for it you're the main producer and director around whom your company revolves. That's not a sustainable business model. So I'm going to give you an example. People were running around. They're doing this. This is what, this is what the background singer does. Check this out. <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is the job. For this, this, this was a job. And for, uh, President Trump has, has claimed he's going to create a lot of jobs. President Obama has t- is taking credit for creating a lot of jobs. We don't know who's creating all the jobs. But <laughs> there are some jobs that were recently lost. And here's, a, here's, the, here's, here's the job that was recently lost. Can, and it might, Mike, Magic Mike, can you kind of turn it on me? I want to make sure I can sing to the listeners here. This is what I would die for you. And I would do this. Even if you want me to, uh, there you go. And then I would die for you. And that was like the person's job. And then the meanwhile, <laughs> and then they would stop, and then Prince would do the rest of it. Yes. But, oh, but then, like but then, the next song. My job was to go. You know, purple rain, purple rain. And that song, if you ever heard that song, it goes on like that for like yeah. 20 minutes. <laughs> purple rain. Purple rain, and then Prince is doing whatever he's doing, and then <laughs> something rather thrivers. Listen to the purple rain, freaking purple rain, purple rain. Carl, did you just say freaking? Dude, I've said it 30 times in a row. I had to sneak in the word freaking, okay? Freaking purple rain. But that job is done because the guy, the Prince of Purple, is dead. And check it out. He had built a business. That's okay. He's a performer, so work with me. But it was dependent upon him. So when he died, there's no Prince tour. Sure. No one's running around touring like, and we're the, uh, well, he doesn't really have a name of his band anymore, but we're the, uh, we're the people who used to travel with Prince, but Prince is not here, but we're going to go ahead and do the background vocals. Yeah. They're gone. So again, this guy right here, listen to this song. This song is great. This song, my first time I heard this, this song. This is a tribute for Z, really, because he loves yeah. Prince. He does. And I want to be Z's lover. <laughs> <laughs> All right, metaphor. here we go. It's a metaphor. Listen to this guy. Maybe that's you in your business. You have this falsetto. You can do falsetto. You can go low. You can go high. You're wearing prints. You got sequins. You got the sequins. You got this crazy guitar skill. By the way, you can There's play no the drums. No one like you. No one like you. You're wearing heels that are like, what are they, platforms? Yeah, they're platforms. Four inch platforms. And you're like five foot nothing. Yeah. You're telling people you're five foot eight. You ain't five foot eight. You're five foot three. You're prints. <laughs> You know, so you, you're not, you don't have a sustainable right. business yeah. model. That's just you being awesome. Mm-hmm. That's not sustainable. Yeah. So you've got to build a sustainable model. Now, let me tell you something that was sustainable. 
George Lucas started building these Star Wars movies. And they built it in such a way where the toy revenue is massive. The systems are massive. The plot has been written out. So now the the movie, the story can go on without him. So he sold the business for over a billion dollars. He sold the Star Wars franchise to Disney World. And now, even without... Uh, regrettably, Carrie Fisher being present, the shows are going on. Rogue One. Uh oh, we have a special announcement, Sharita. Off to Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia. Uh, we love you. She's <laughs> gone. She's sending, sending it into the, the yes, universe. Yes. Oh. I should have put the cinnamon buns on my hair. Yeah. Carrie Fisher, if we got you bigger headphones, it might look like those. <laughs> okay, but Carrie Fisher has passed away. Yeah. And But the, the Star Wars uh, franchise, franchise mm-hmm. is still moving on on without Carrie Fisher. I find that so amazing, not without Carrie Fisher, but I'm saying George Lucas. As a family, we watch all the, how they made the the movies, and he was the whole driving force, right? But because he, it's not built around him, it is amazing to me now that can move on without him and be just as successful. And well, it's your legacy, right? Yes. It's your legacy. But it's just amazing to me that someone who is so intricate can build systems Mm -hmm. that operate Without them, like like Clay said, that the story is written. You know why you want to do that? Because today we're going to go buy a dog. Yeah. Are we gonna, are we gonna, what kind of dogs did you find? Did we narrow it down to the top two uh, or three? Well, the problem is there's only one we can see today. The what? other people, they, 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 I don't understand what the, the deal is with Why can't Craigslist. people build there's, scalable dog showing businesses? I want to talk to the people on <laughs> Craigslist. If you're going to post a posting on Craigslist for anything. For anything. Please, on the reply, <laughs> let, let, let us call you. Some people will only re- have emails. No, I'm saying, how am I going to reach you if I cannot call you? Yeah. And the Drivers. only option is Drivers. emails, and sure. then you don't respond to email. Sure. Drivers, this she is how, I, cal- this is how I calm her down when she gets upset. <laughs> I just play the song, and I just say, it's okay. All right. If you're on Christmas. All right. Uh, anyways, so the point is we can only see one dog now, which will not help us make a decision because I need to see all three dogs. No, no, we need to see one dog. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. No, but here's the deal, Thrivers. Now, check it out. I call this this next thing, I want to get into this a little bit. This is about creating a sustainable bu- sustainable business model, okay? I call this the gas cap theory. Mm. Now, Sharita, I want you to, d- Vanessa knows about I this. I love this one. Yeah. So, yeah, I, want, I want to kind of get your reaction to sure, it, okay? Sure, sure. You're driving down the road, right? Mm-hmm. And people are honking at you. I don't have a car horn like readily we, we've available. we've lived this experience many times. This is what will happen. They go, they're not doing boat horns, but people are honking <laughs> at you. They got their... If, if a boat honks at you, you're really in trouble. <laughs> you're like, Dad, I think we're headed into a pond. <laughs> no, son, we're, we're just headed to Contusa. <laughs> Dad, we're headed into a river. Dad, look out. Quit texting. No, but seriously. But someone will honk at you, and they'll wave at you, and they'll go, sure. hey, hey, hey. And you're like, oh, my They're gosh. They're frantic. They're Is like- my car on fire? And you're thinking, you're looking over at O'Neill going, are we on fire? Oh. What's wrong? And then you pull <laughs> over. Die. You pull over, and you're like, what is it? And you look, and your gas cap is open. You ever had that happen? I have not. No? No, I have not. Oh. I have like you've not lived your life. <laughs> it's probably because I'll do it today. <laughs> probably because you're not married to me. This I'll is what happens. I'll do it today. People are like, you gotta pull over. <laughs> happens all the time. Screaming, yelling. Another example. Another example. Okay. You see, you're you're out there doing life and you are an you are an idiot. Mm. Okay. You're going through life and you are you built a business. You're working ninety seven hours a week, okay? <laughs> you're not sleeping, right? Your business sucks like a Hoover, but you're not selling Hoovers. You don't have, you're not working for Dyson. You're not like the dirt devil. You're, you're just a business is just on a whole nother level called the basement. All right. But you're like, no, my bagel, my bagel business is good. And you're going, your bagel business is not good, Oswald. You're going, yes, too. It's Oswald's best bagels. And I swear it's going to take off someday. And you're like, Oswald, you, you've never sold any bagels. They I need will, some gluten-free options. They're so gluten-free, though, and I, you know, Oswald's quitting all the bagels. Anyway, the thing is, no one will tell you that your business is going the wrong way because yeah. that's offensive. Mm-hmm. But they will tell you that your uh, gas cap is open. Yeah. So what we want to do, Thrivers, is when you come to a workshop, what's awesome is you can listen to people. You can learn about people who are successful. You can teach them. You can listen to them teach the systems. Dr. Z will be there. I'll be there. And we're teaching you, and you can quietly say to yourself, Oh, no, that's me. And then you can correct it, but it's hard to make a change if you don't know where you're having a problem. So you've got to, it's hard, it's really hard to, to make a change if you don't know where you're making a problem. Now, this is what Dr. Zellner says. This is a notable quote from Dr. Z himself. He's not here, so I have to quote him like he's a hologram from Star Wars or something. But here's what he says. Once you have learned to sell that one thing, that widget, 
that service or that product that your customer is willing to buy for more than it costs you to produce, you have something. You have something. Now, you just have to figure out how to scale it over and over in a way that doesn't involve you, and you will become rich. Rich. Shark, do you have something you want to add there? I do. And here's what I want to say. It's really from my heart because I think we work here and we do such great work with our clients. And Clay Mm. is at the helm of that with these systems and processes, him and Dr. Z. But I just want the listeners to know we have clients every week who call us and say, hey, I quadrupled my income this week. This is not made up. This happens every week. And I just want people to know if they come in and learn these systems and these processes, it can change your life. It's not rocket science. We're not sitting down going, well, here's the deal. I'm not sitting down with a, I work with uh, multiple surgeons right now, multiple. I'm not sitting down going, well, here's the deal, doctor. When you want to do a great incision, what I like to do is I like to go in from that left side. I call it, that's my good hand. And I get my good eye on it. And then what you want to do is you want to kind of go, so like that, you want so you want to want to. I call it more of a fillet cut because they're going. You're a sick freak. No, I'm not doing that. I'm teaching you how to fix your permalink, how to optimize your website, how to build your sales funnel, how to hire people, how to fire people, how to get an LLC, how to sue people, how to be sued, how to deal with it, how to not go crazy, how to balance your schedule, <laughs> how to do customer service, how to yeah. not go crazy, yeah. how to be a good husband and a good business owner. These are things we teach. Now we move on. The next move, point number three, is you have to define. You've got to define. What do you have to define? Well, Thrivers, we come back. When we start talking about it, we say, hey, I know the purpose of my business, point one, okay? I know that I want to create a sustainable business model, step two. But, but three, you've got to define what that looks like specifically. Like, what time are you going home? What time are you getting up? What, how many sales deals do you need? How much is enough? How much do you go, I'm doing enough business. Thank you very much. I'm good. How many, when is it not ever enough? Maybe you want to, maybe you want to franchise and it's never enough. Maybe it is enough. I don't know. I'm not going to put my values on you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make you think about it in a deep way because we're not going to be thinking narrow. We're going to get in deep into that marrow, going deep below the surface of that epidermis. Stay tuned. Thrive Nation, thrivetimeshow.com, thrivetimeshow.com, and thrivetimeshow.com. Right now, how are you taking credit card payments for your business? It's never been faster or easier to begin taking credit card payments for your business than with Square. You know the little white square that plugs into your phone's headphone jack? It's awesome. This payment app is great for businesses such as food trucks, beauty salons, and retail shops. The users receive a small portable card reader that they can attach to a phone or other mobile device to take fast and convenient payments. The way it works is that it subtracts 2.75% of every time a card is run and it does it automatically. So if you sell a sandwich for $20, you'll see a net gain of $19.45 in your bank account the next day. If you enter the card by hand, it costs 3.5% plus 15 cents on top of that. They encrypt everything so you know you're secure. They make it super clear to start and even offer bonuses for sharing with friends. So you can learn more at squareup.com. It's free to download and works on all devices and operating systems. So make sure that you go visit squareup.com. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back to the Thrive Time Show. And today we're going to magically transport you to a place, a place in time in American history where people get paid. Imagine a time like this. Imagine a place in the world where people would get paid based off of what they do and not based off of what they know. Imagine a place where people got paid based off of the value they added to the marketplace and not how many hours they worked. Imagine a time and place where the world wasn't fair. Imagine a place where you could get your MBA and still know nothing. Imagine a time and place where you could become an educated idiot and you know everything. You've gone back to college, you got that business degree, and you're sleeping on your mom's couch. Somebody's listening right now and you're like, he's on my couch right now. I'm trying to get him off the couch. Trevor, get off my couch. Mom, I can't listen to the Thrive Show because I'm learning everything about everything, but I do nothing. Now, here's the deal, Thrivers. You get paid for what you do not based on what you know. So I'm going to break it down because we're teaching you how to build a scalable business system quickly. 
and Miss Sharita Bent and my incredible wife, Mrs. Vanessa Clark. They have some points they want to add in here today. But I'm going to go ahead and read from the great book, Scale. Scale. Who wrote Scale? I don't even know if I should I listen to Scale. Well, how, how do I know that Scale is the right book for me? Okay, how do I know? Because he built Priceline. Never heard of it. I don't use the internet. Okay, fine. Uh, he's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Who's he? Google it. Check it out. Here we go. He says this. The process layer consists of the step-by-step -step process or procedure you've created to, to complete any given task. So work with me. When you build a business and you've learned to sell something, you need to make a process, which is a long, long boop checklist. I'm talking a big boop checklist. We're talking about a big boop checklist. It's a huge document that no one understands, but it's a written system. Shark, Sam, you're, you're producing today. Mike, you saw this happen in the last 24 hours in this room. You have a system that's written out, but it's big. Yeah. And no one knows what you're talking about. That, but you have to have the process layer. That's step one. Step two, and I'm white hot on this because it just happened. <laughs> step two, hopefully people are learning some, some, some things. Sam, I want you to educate America on, on this idea once it, cause it gets deep into your cerebellum because this is one thing I've, I've failed to teach often enough. The second step is the format layer, which deals with how you package and present your system in a way that your team can actually use. Oh, oh. Oh, you see, because this first step, the first step is making the system, you know, writing it out. That's where you like hit your head on the toilet seat and you draw the flux capacitor. You're going, Marty, look, I, I made the flux capacitor. And you're like, what, what's that, Doc? It's what makes time travel possible. Doc, 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 Doc. Marty, you are, let me guess, you are, you are uh, part of the U.S. Coast Guard and you are, you are, no, Doc, I'm from the future and I'm, you know what this means? What does it mean? This means this thing doesn't work, Marty. You know, the thing is, who are, you know, it's, it's, it's like Doc Brown. You've got these ideas, but they're not manifesting. They're not becoming anything. That's because you have nailed down, I repeat, the process layer. But step two is the format layer. So what's the format layer? Check it out. The process layer is like how to make the shrimp panini. Do you want, do you want the shrimp panini? And you say, I, I, I would like some. Would you like me to grind the pepper? I grind the pepper. Do you want the chip, the chip, the panini? And you're going, calm down. Well, next thing you know, that guy gets promoted because it's his business to like the chef status. So Sharita now works at this restaurant, okay? Yeah. And I'm trying to teach you how to make it because I have, I've nailed down the process. I know how to make great shrimp panini. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of role play this scenario. Yeah, so I'm trying to teach it. you and Vanessa how to do this, okay. okay? Now, Vanessa, her job is she's the waitress, okay? And you're out there trying to make the food. Sure. You guys ever been to Olive Garden and notice how many Hispanics are making the food? I don't eat at Olive Garden. You ever notice that, though? How no, like a lot of Hispanic people like working it. at an Italian restaurant? No. Check it out. You can teach people of all different nationalities and races how so to do something. you don't something. have to be Italian to work at I'm Olive Garden is what today. you're saying. That is the point. I'm going today. And, yes, the, yep, and, and the, other point, the other point is I only eat at restaurants where Hispanics uh, work. I won't eat at a Caucasian restaurant. I don't trust Caucasians. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But here's the thing. So you go in there, and this is what happens. And so I, I said, no, what do you want to do? You, you want to really love on the, on the, on the pepper. All right, love on the pepper. <laughs> you want to love on the pepper. Love on the pepper. No, you got to love on the pepper. No, too, too much pepper. Too, too much pepper. I tie, I'm tired of teaching you. I'm I blew it off. I blew some off. Right? He's now, just going to take it over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that happens all the time, though. Yeah. There's business owners who are going. Now, Vanessa's going. Um, she's coming up to me, and she's asking me about, you know, the drink menu. So go ahead and ask me some questions about the drink menu, because I'm the crazy Italian founder of the business. Okay. Uh, are these really uh, only all the drinks we have? We carry Pepsi products, or you must have memorized the menu. You must. I, I, I get tired of you people. I, I spend oh, my oh, entire day. I, oh, I go okay. in the pepper. You memorize the menu. Oh, I just nobody can do it like me. I swear. You know. And you're going. Oh, is that weird? You're so weird. Where is the cork? The the the, the, the bottle. Oh, which no. which bottle are you referring to? The, the, the specific uh, cork. Anyway, the thing is, people don't. They don't do well. When you are, it's all in your head. You've sure. got to turn it into a process. Now, check it out. I create a thing called a menu, and on that menu, it's now you can go to the customer and show them the menu. They can choose what they want, and it kind of it shows pictures. Yeah. And then you have this thing called a recipe. Yes. What? Yeah. A recipe, and you're supposed to make it in a way. So now you just look through that checklist, and you sure. can do it. Sure. That's how that is. So a lot of people, they, they know in their mind the process, right. but they don't have the format. And that's a, that's a part where a lot of people get wrong because what happens is, so you, you can talk about well, what are some examples, homie? Yes. Well, and I think many times there will be business owners who will go ahead and get 
really motivated and say, yes, I need a checklist. And they will make a checklist, but they don't go through that step, second step of making a proper format. And what happens is employees get so frustrated with the checklist because mm -hmm. Uh, maybe there's some steps missing. Maybe I don't even know what the, Carl's talking about. Yeah, he missed and instead of going to steps. to yeah. their manager or whoever's above them and them critiquing and making it a tighter checklist, no one uses the checklist. Sure. Oh, now here we go. These are the kinds of specific format layers that you need to create in your business. I mean, this is the kind of stuff we teach at Thrive15.com workshops. By the way, January 20th and 21st, we have limited seating. Get ready. Go to ThriveTimeShow.com to quote my man. T.D. Jakes, get ready, get ready, get ready. <laughs> All right, he says it three times. Get ready, get ready, get ready. The thing is, the Thrive Time Show workshops are game changers. And if you've got $7 in your pocket right now, put your hands up. Just kidding. But seriously, if you have $7, you can afford to come out to this. We have a scholarship program. It's available for anybody who wants to attend. Z and I know what it's like to not have enough money to get by, and we want to help you do it. But here are the, here's, here are the format layers that we're going to teach you, the kinds of things you can learn at our workshops. One, checklists. By the way, we have templates available. Can you give us examples? Yeah. Scripts, worksheets, written guidelines. Database, database guidelines, CRM, customer relationship management software templates, pricing lists, oh man, negotiation terms, written warnings for employee write-ups, a marketing calendar. I'm not interested. These are all things I would rather create from scratch. Okay. <laughs> Wow. And you don't have to, right? Like yeah. You're reinventing the wheel. And, and these things have worked for other people, so it's not a trial and error. But this marketing calendar, uh, this is what people are, are using. using. Yeah, they're different ones for different industries. What would be best for you? So if you know the purpose of your business, which is to create three Ps, which is a profit for your, a profit for your business, a product your customers love, and a place where you can work with great people. If you walk into your business and you just the sight of somebody pisses you off, <laughs> irritates you, you've got to understand that's not a good thing. And you, you got to stand, either you're happy or they're happy. I'm just being real with you. If you work in my office and I don't like you, I'm going to tell you. And it's not going to be like a little like, I'm just going to have that conversation. Like, I just don't like you. And they're going to say, you don't like me? No, I don't. I mean, there's just certain things about your personality, mainly your, your personality, that I don't like. And I've, there's other people that would like your personality. Sure. But your consistent uh, uh, t attempts to master solitaire during the work day. <laughs> Or your persistent attempts. You know what I'm talking about. They yes. try to watch a Netflix video on yes. screen number two yes. while yes. you're while you're drifting of your of your <laughs> thinking about your your pot acquisition dreams. Um, these are things that I'm not going to endorse. Okay. So, but Thrivers, we're going to teach you. We come back how to build a scalable and repeatable business that can quickly scale, can quickly build a repeatable business that can help you create that time and financial freedom. Thrive Time Show. Where is it? ThriveTimeShow.com. Okay, managing your money has not been easier. Mint.com is the solution to ambiguous and blind money management. You can effortlessly create budgets that are easy to stick to or even use one that they make for you. Design budgets that are appropriate for now and put you in position to succeed in the future. Get notifications for weird account charges and receive personalized tips for eliminating fees and saving more money. Check your credit with a free credit score and explore what you can do to improve it to be able to purchase the things that you really want later. Link up the app on your phone and money management on the go has never been easier. You can even link up your portfolio accounts so you can see your bank accounts and stock values side by side. Mint.com, you gotta go check it out and you can sign up for free. Again, that's mint.com, M-I-N-T.com. Go sign up right now. It's definitely a game changer for money management. Local now. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. It's the Thrive Time Show, and it's around that noon time. A lot of you guys are going noon time. What are you like an hour and a half lunch break? No, here's the thing. Some of you went over to Oklahoma Joe's, and you realized you walked into a, a palace of barbecue. I mean, you went in there and you go, "I didn't even know that this food this this was possible. This is like, oh, did you, you had these baked beans?" And they go. Would you like an extra side? Y'all have four extra sides. You now have un un you had to like unbutton one one <laughs> button on your pants. And you're doing what I like to call the extra dance where you go. When you're kind of making room and you're kind of going, mm-hmm. And they go, 
do you want any dessert? You know, and you're going, and you're in, in, in your mind, you're going, well, it hurts a little bit, but I'm in physical pain. But yeah, sure, sure. And you say something nice like, well, I shouldn't. And the waiter's like, oh, come on. And it's this half, I don't know, it's this weak game of you attempting to be on a diet. Meanwhile, you're just pounding the baby back ribs, right? So the deal is, you're at Oklahoma Joe's right now having a great time, but you're also saying to yourself, you know what, I, I, I do want to learn how to build a scalable business because I... I Oklahoma Joe's, you know, it's not super expensive, but it's not free. And I want to buy some more baked beans. I want to have an unlimited supply of baked beans. How can I learn to buy an unlimited amount of Oklahoma Joe's baked beans? Well, I'm going to tell you how. you got to build a scalable business system. So, Vanessa, if you had to define a scalable business versus a typical business, what's the difference in your mind or differences in your mind between a scalable business in terms of branding, let's say, and a non-scalable business in terms of branding? Are, are you talking about some of the branding mistakes that we made early on with our businesses? Or what you see, yeah, with our early, definitely make fun of me. I'm open game here. And then, you know, things you've seen as patterns, because you've obviously touched a lot of the files and you've, yeah. you work with a lot of the clients. You've seen a lot of it. Well, branding, anything that's memorable, of course, we're, you're gonna, that's why Elephant in the Room went with Elephant in the Room. It seems kind of an odd name, but it was something that was easily recognized um, and memorable. I know. Mike, Mike, can you grab the 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 mock-ups for the uh, billboards while we're while we're, while we're talking about branding? I want you to grab that because you're talking about marketing and, yeah. and, and memorable. So and I, I think, think we might have some that, winners here. Oh yeah, we sure do. But anything you can get that is memorable, I know. You know, with Steve Currington, um, get qualified. Mm -hmm. I mean, how cute and memorable is that? And it makes you see the visual of a koala. That's early, a koala right there. Look early that. on with DJ Connection, so I know that we sold um, wedding packages to brides and grooms and pretty much the bride is going to make call the shots right sure. but what was interesting is that and we didn't even notice this until you met with uh Lori montag who was a wedding guru at that time in the photography industry but um all of our branding was geared towards men yeah all of it it was all like designed like now the first the dude package the first package is called what i call it was the, is the truck <laughs> and the bride's like oh okay what color is it <laughs> ma'am it's a truck it's got wheels on it and when you we show up on time, and we'll play that music. Well, what kind of music do you play? Man, we ain't got time for that. It's called the truck. It gets you there. And the man is sitting there just like Dude, looking off in the distance. He's going, yeah, what, what, what day are we getting married again, babe? Yeah. What day is it? So, but anyways, that was a huge eye-opener when uh, Lori Montag said, you know, why why are you selling to men? Like, women are going to be the ones making the decisions for th the wedding decisions. And we switched all of the branding, um, you know, always and forever. All the mm -hmm. packages names were real princessy. I've and, got a notable quotable. And it, for, it was huge. Go I for it. I got some notable quotable for some ideas that are ropeable. <laughs> Catching it. it. Bringing it back, pulling it back, pulling it to your brain. Here we One go. One day you're just going to get on here and rap the whole day. Not going to do it yet. Here's the deal. I'm just going to switch from now into suits, into sweatshirts. and you're then becoming we'll a rapper. Anyway, but here's the thing is, Thrivers, I'm being serious about this, okay? You want to make sure that your brand matches your ideal fans. That's the thing. That's good. So your brand has to match your ideal fans. So right now, if you're looking online right now, um, we've got, I'm wearing, a, my, this is a prototype, which means it's not done, but it is like a prototype. It's a work in progress. You're a prototype? This is the best year you're going to get, buddy. No, seriously. This is my sweatshirt. The and official this is one will be awesome. We're all going to be embroidered and such. But this is a honey badger, okay? Now, a honey badger is our mascot at Thrive15.com. Because to be a honey badger means you have to eat, you have to survive. A honey badger survives. A honey badger has adapted over time to now survive by eating larvae from bees and snakes. <laughs> the thing now can be bitten constantly <laughs> by bees and snakes. It and it, keeps, this? Have yes, you seen it this? Just okay. keeps eating. He just keeps eating, and the honey badger just don't care. <laughs> he just don't care. So here's the thing is, Thrivers, is that, that oh. your brand has to match your ideal and likely buyer. And if you're an entrepreneur, you've got to have a little bit of, uh, I don't know, you got to have a little bit of a, of a kick to you. A little bit of... In, Sexiness. A little, almost, I don't know if it's a little sexy. swag. Got to have some swag. swag. Yeah, I felt uncomfortable crunchy. there. Yeah, you gotta, be a little crunchy. Yeah, you gotta you, have some little crunch to you. You do, like. you do, and you do. You, now I would say you got to be comfortable with making people feel uncomfortable because mm -hmm. you got to run around ch ch promoting your own business. Yeah. And we're in a culture where you, you shouldn't promote yourself. Self promotion's bad. Oh, you want to be poor? That's a good tip. Self promotion's bad. You want to be poor? Good idea. You should be humble. That's a great thing to do. The thing is, you have to be um, proud enough of your product to share it with people, but humble enough to be coached by your customer on how to make it better. Sure. So. I mean, we're talking about branding and trying to come up with ideas that can match your brand. And then I'm going to get into some, some numbers and the metrics you have to have for your business. But if you're on Facebook Live right now, and if you're not, you should be. 
But we're we're having new billboards that are coming up promoting the show, new billboards. And this is this is kind of like my my favorite two right now. I'm kind of down to the two here. This is my favorite two. This one here. Learn to build a Trump tastic business. Can you, can Michael zoom in on that face? So can you, you say, can see can Yeah, if you if you don't if you don't like it, you can deal with it. You can deal with it. It's, it's okay. a we'll, hybrid. Let me tell we'll all send you the therapy. It is a hybrid. Look at that hair. The, the hair Trump says I don't care. On a clay <laughs> face with crazy eyes. And let me tell you, you will not forget this billboard. And like yeah. I the first time I saw that picture, I think I laughed until I oh. cried. It is so it's ridiculous. The eyes. It's the eyes. It's really a disturbing <laughs> thing. Now the other the other one we have here is business school without the BS. Oh. And that almost seems calm. Compared, compared to the other to, one, yes. That's like that's really makes sense. Business school without the BS. That's calm. That's very calm. And then you pull up the Trump and you're going, What is wrong with you? But, but let it, me say what makes it so good too. You know, say what you will wherever you are politically. Say think, you will, say you will. <laughs> but I think that most people will agree that if nothing else, Trump is a good businessman. Mm-hmm. He is a good businessman, or, or maybe not a good businessman. He's, but he makes billions. But the thing is, now, Thrivers, here's the thing is, we're walking you through the specific steps to build a scalable business model, and now we get into these numbers. you got to define the numbers, okay? You have to know, you need to write this down. You have to know the number of customers you need just to break even. Break even? I don't want to break even. It's My <laughs> idea is so transformative, <laughs> so viral, so disruptive. My app is going to be so just saucy. Mm. You have a saucy app. Yeah. It's going to be so saucy and sensual, and it's going to be like bacon for the brain. What is your app? It's going to be a game changer. It's going to be like translucent, but not too much. You won't be able to see through it, but you'll be able to. <laughs> are you talking about an app now? I mean, it's going to have a little bit of sexiness to it, but it's going to have a smell of baked beans. <laughs> what is it? you got to have real write it down. you got to be real. How many customers do you need to break even? Now, the second thing is how many customers do you need to achieve your financial goals? Goals? Like goals, like, you know, like, is that ethical to have a goal? Because a lot of people go, you know, I, I, I don't want to have, I don't want to put big goals. I want to be realistic. I'm talking about this kind of goal. Remember that soccer guy who's always freaking out? He goes on forever. He Listen to this. It. I'm talking about, are you achieving your goals? Are you achieving your goals? I'm asking you, Tulsa, are you achieving your goals? The thing is, Thrivers, if you're not achieving your goals, you want to go to the Thrive Time Show. That's what you got to do. Okay, that guy's going off. Still Check going. it out. He's still going. Check it off. Check it out. I want you guys to write this down. This is huge. Some of you are out there every Saturday. You're cheering for OU, OU, OSU, OSU. You got the shirt. You got a tattoo to a school that you dropped out of. You got kicked out of there as a freshman, homie. You know you didn't graduate, but you got an OSU sweatshirt. You got an OU t-shirt. But here's the thing is, why are you cheering more for a team that you don't even play on than yourself? That's right. What's the deal? Cheer for yourself. Do it. I, I believe in you. We believe in you. You got to get serious. Go to thrivetimeshow.com and sign up for that workshop, okay? Thrivetimeshow.com. Get serious about yourself. You can do it. Are you looking to start or grow business? Then you are definitely going to have problems and questions along the way. You will find the answers to all of your business questions at thrive15.com. Thrive15.com provides online video-based business training taught by millionaires and successful entrepreneurs for less than a dollar per day. That's less than your daily coffee budget. It's no classrooms, no get rich quick seminars. These are trainings broken into 15 minute segments that get you the answers that you need. It's business school without the BS. I dare you to try a seven day free trial. Simply go to thrive15.com and the first 100 people will also receive a free downloadable for how to optimize your website. So stop wasting your time and money. Go to thrive15.com and get your business questions answered now. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back to the final hour of power on this fantastic Friday, baby. You are listening to the Thrive Time Show. Probably not yet on your way home because you're probably at work right now. You're probably in your lunch hour. You're probably getting a lot of things done. And I'm telling you what, we're today, we're teaching a topic that I'm especially passionate about. We're teaching this concept, this idea of how to build a quickly scalable business. You understand, like, you can scale a business quickly. Like, we're opening up... Another elephant in the room very, very soon. We're expanding our downtown uh, location. We have three locations to serve you. And if you're listening right now and you've never been to the Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge, 
you got to have two two things to, to, to qualify, okay? One, you got to be a dude. Am I a dude? Are you judging me? Am I a dude? Now listen, okay, well, I'm not going to get into this whole Chris Jenner debate thing here. The thing is, if you're, if you're what you believe to be a dude, just get in there, okay? And the thing is, it's going to be a dollar for your first haircut. It's a dollar for your first haircut. And anybody listening, your first time, it's, it's a dollar, okay? But the thing was, it took a long time, about a year, about a year, to, defi- to refine the systems to the point where we could quickly scale it. But we had the end in mind. The entire time was to scale the business. And there were times where we could have made decisions that could have trapped us within the business. But yeah. instead, we decided to focus on building a scalable model. And now we're opening up the second one. You open, open the second one. The second one did great. Now we're opening the third one. The third one's doing great. And now we're working on expanding the downtown one. And we're opening up a fourth one. So now it's like getting exciting. And I'm just telling you, you, can, you, you need to focus on building a scalable business Otherwise, you're going to build a business system that, that, that creates a job for you. And when you yeah. create a job and not a business, now you're working all the time and the, everything about the business is dependent upon you. Now, you here's, can't grow it. You can't you, grow you, it. You can't grow it. And here, here's maybe one of the reasons why you're doing this. This is maybe a, a, fill, a failure loop that you're, that you're stuck in. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. Okay, You say, maybe you're jaded by past experiences of delegating to your staff only to later learn that they ignored your systems and the important details. And so you've asked people on your team to do something before, and they didn't do it, and so now you're like, well, freaking A, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do every part of the business by myself. I'm going to code up my website by myself. I'm going to redo the the print pieces by myself. I'm going to open the door by myself, clean the toilets by myself, and at the end of the day, myself will be with myself, (laughs) and I will count the... I will look... I'll take a selfie with myself, and I'll post it on Facebook, and I'll tag myself, and I'll look at myself, and I'll say, that's myself being away from yourself because I love myself. And this is someone who took the time to go make the checklist, Mm -hmm. do the things, and then... They didn't think about what's going to happen. What kind of accountability do sure. I need? What? And so they end up frustrated that it didn't happen how they thought it would. And now they're back to square one, them doing everything. Now, we teach management systems yes. at Thrive 15 yep. workshops, in-person two-day workshops. Mm-hmm. Shark, if I want to go to one of these workshops and I want, I'm going, okay, I, I have built some fantastic systems. Okay, I have built them. I am only listening to this radio show because I don't want to talk about politics. So I'm only listening right now, but I have built some fantastic systems. And if you only knew of the, the, the beauty of my systems, you would, you would gawk. And so I just need to help, a little bit of help on management. I say, how much help? Just a little. I know what I know what to do. I just want to be verified and validated. If someone wants to come out to a workshop to learn the management systems mm-hmm. that Dr. Zellner has created that have allowed him to are you ever amazed, by the way, how often the man travels and yet his businesses are just rocking? I absolutely love it. Like that's who I want to be when I grow up. Do you know what I mean? Is Doctor Zellner? No, I'm serious. When you first, when Seriously. you first encountered the man, yeah. was it sort of bizarre that he might or might not be at a meeting? It's awesome because he's like, I just flew in from like fill in the blank, and then he's like, and tonight I'm gonna fly out to fill in the blank, and like. The systems he moving. goes, the Cubs They're are moving. going to the World Series. Yes. And I, I go, they that. are going to the World Series. He goes, so I'm going. Yes, tonight. Like, I'm going tonight. And he he interacts with history. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely Vanessa, love it. Vanessa, what were you saying? I love I it. He has that freedom only yes. because he's made it that way. And for someone else who doesn't like to travel or whatever. But the point is, to have that freedom, isn't sure. that the reason you're in business? Yeah, definitely. Now, here's the deal. If someone wants to come out to a Thrive 15 in-person two-day 15 hours of power. Yeah. 15 hours of power. We're <laughs> going to teach you how to pump it up. We're going to teach you how to grow your business, how to increase your power, how to... No, we're, c- calm down. We're not going to get in. It's, it's like an intense weightlifting no workshop. But no, if someone <laughs> wants to get out to those workshops, yeah. how can they do it? We have made it incredibly easy for you. You literally need to go to thrivetimeshow.com. You can click on conferences. Will this involve me going <laughs> to the internet? We always no. get to the part of the show where you're it like, will. go on the website. It will. Okay. And it's super Easy. I'll have my daughter do it. It's super easy. Yes, have your daughter do it. And we also have on our main page, it, it says, do you want to attend a conference? Get started. We've given you so many options. Mm-hmm. You can do it so easily. You enter your information. If I have a fax machine, can I go directly <laughs> through uh, myface.com? 
Is that how, how do I do it one more time? Sorry, I was I was yeah. eating some Oklahoma Joe's. I get it. I get it. You go to thrivetimeshow.com. Okay. Yes, and we will help you get your seat reserved. And it's a limited availability, so that's what we want to let people know. This so is not reserve an arena. Your spot now. Yeah, it's yeah. not an arena. It's very intimate because we're working with you one on one. One one of the things I like about you people yeah. is that you all use your smartphones and you're yeah. all like, Hey, I've discovered everything. I know the secrets of the world, but you don't know what Moses told me. <laughs> Directly. You'll never know because you weren't there. <laughs> no, but here's the deal, Thrivers. So we want to teach you how to grow a successful company, but you got to have faith in yourself when you begin to act. Because, Sharita, when you try to implement these systems, uh, have you ever been frustrated that people don't want to implement them? You're like, all you have to do is what's on the checklist. Sure. That's all you have yeah. to do. Have you ever thought to yourself, what? What in the devil is inside you? I mean, oh, I, I've seen her with she, the people. I was going to say, you two have both seen I don't want to put this. any names yeah. out there. Yeah, but. because you just think, I've made it. It's just right here. Number one, do this. Number two. And it is frustrating. And I do have that personality where I just want to take it back over. Have you ever tried <laughs> to find the devil inside an employee and like, pull it out? exercise it today. Exercise yeah. the demons. Today. Get that demon in shape. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. but here's the deal, Thrivers. <laughs> but it's going to require some faith that the conference can teach you how to do it, okay? Yeah. So we have a money-back guarantee as well. So if you're going, listen, listen I'll do it, but I, I have to know that I'm going to actually be satisfied. Well, let me tell you what. You're going to be satisfied because we it, it is everything you need to know to start or grow a business, and it's affordable. We have a scholarship program. So if you have $7 in your pocket, you can afford to get out to this. Then we have it. It was affordable for everybody, and there is absolutely, it's affordable for everybody, and there's absolutely no upselling. There's no way in the back of the room upselling your stuff, Shark. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. Now, in honor of my main man, George Michael, I don't typically do this on, on a Friday, but I call this the Friday Faith Show. Uh, George Michael passed away peacefully while well, doing drugs. But anyway, so George Michael, he passed away. Bless his heart, George. We, we miss you already. So I'm going to play this for you, Thrivers. Here we go. Let me get that queued up here. It's okay. Your boss probably won't know. If you are the boss, just sing along. It's okay. Would be nice. If I could touch your body. All the Thrivers. I know not everybody has got a body. You got to watch this video. It's epic. Twice. Go on, Thrivers. Here we go. We're going to the chorus. I give my heart away, and I know all the games you play because I play them too. I am reading the lyrics. Oh, but I need some time off from that emotion. Come on, Thrivers. Pick my heart up off the floor on 1170. Oh, yeah. Down without <laughs> devotion. <laughs> well, it takes a words. strong man, baby. But I'm showing I you the part. door. Cause I gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. I gotta have faith. I know this part. I gotta have faith, the faith. Ow! Gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Baby! Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Whew, that took I mixed me up a lot of those words there. I was. <laughs> you see him jamming out over here. You could just that took see me back it. to the '80s. Oh, sure. I went back there. And I was sure. thinking about Converse shoes where you splash paint them. Mm. You remember splash mm. paint? You got that denim jacket. You got a big old button. Mm -hmm. You remember when you're wearing the big button? Yes. It oh, says massive, like massive, massive. Yes. And what the reverse you? socks. Yeah. I want to slap. One of the did, did you have yeah. a trapper keeper with a dolphin on it? I wanted yep. one. Yep. I never got one, but I wanted one. Do you have I might have a kitten. You had a kitten? Lisa mm -hmm. Frank. Did you not care she about the rainforest? Yeah, she was a thing. Yeah. Why would you not want to put one with the rainforest on it? <laughs> Rolling know. your jeans up. Oh, yeah. Legs. Velcro remember was that? hot. Remember that? Yeah. You remember the dice game at the Roller City or Roller Land, wherever you lived, Roller <laughs> City? I don't know about this. I missed out. Yeah. You didn't live near a Roller City? I went or skating. I went skating for sure. What was well, the name of the place like a Roller City? Roller City. Something like that. And then they do the dice game. Remember that? I don't know was it. Like I don't fuzzy know it. Dice or like little dice? Do you remember reverse skating? I do. You remember that, yeah, Vanessa? You need yeah, I really, I guess I wasn't a big roller skater. Okay, listen right now. Thrivers, here's what I want you to do. We got three things we need to cover here. One, if you know Jason White, if you know Jason White, he's, he's a beautiful man. And you know him, he, went, he lived on, on West Memphis in beautiful Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. He went to Oral Roberts University. And don't hate him, but he is a member of the IRS. Don't hate him. I know, <laughs> IRS, this is negative show. Reach out to him. Text him. Say, Jason, they're talking about you and your reverse skating moves. Was he you, skilled? You got the quad oh. skates. He could break it down. about it to this day. Yeah, really? It, it made me cry when I would watch that guy. I'm like, how's oh, he so good? He wow. said all the dance moves he had in real life, he could do on those skates. Multiplied by seven. That's epic. He was awesome. But now, two other things we need to talk about. Two other things real quick here. One, we have this epic conference coming up on January 20th and 21st. I'm going to tell you what, when you buy a ticket, it's for your group. When you buy mm -hmm. a ticket, you can bring your husband 
Nice. All for one price. Nice. You can bring your whole crew. You can bring your whole neighborhood. If you live in Pryor, you can probably be in the whole town because it's just you and six people. So the thing is, you could bring your crew, your group. If you're, if you're the pastor of a church, bring your team. If you own a business, bring your squad. You can do all that, okay? To go to thrivetimeshow.com to learn more and to register right now for January 20th and 21st. It's affordable for everybody. Spaces are limited. And move number three, sharing is caring. I repeat, sharing is caring. So go to thrivetimeshow.com and share this broadcast, share these podcasts with your friends. Help your other friends become successful. And as always, three and two, one, boom. boom.